In this video, I'm gonna tell you about a tool that helps you figure out how much money you're about to spend when you're using Terraform with a cloud service provider. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanna to go over this cool open source tool that is free called InfraCost. Now, what it does is it allows you to calculate your cloud cost based on your Terraform state plan, right? So you're going to run this in conjunction with your Terraform plan, and it's also going to let you know how much those resources that you deploy are going to cost. Now to get started, you can come to this main page or you can go to their GitHub page and the main page is infracost.io. And they have their install instructions for the different um, operating systems here, but I've actually gone ahead and installed it on my Raspberry Pi and they don't support ARM simply right out of the box. You kind of have to compile that from source from their GitHub repo but most of you are going to be using one of these standard out of the box operating systems. So real quick, I'm going to go and run through this. So we're going to do a infra cost register, right? So I'm going to come over to my terminal and I'm going to run that. Now what this does is it, they issue you an API key in exchange for the information you're about to give them. And that API key is, is not credentials for any of your resources, right? So if you're going to run this against AWS, it is simply an API key so that they can reach out to, I mean, they even say it right here, uh, for the CLI to query the cloud pricing API of the different uh, services, right? So I'm going to go ahead and provide a name here. Uh, and then I need to provide an email. So we'll do this one. And then bam, thank you, the sudo, your API key is blank. And once you run this, they're also going to save that API key in your home directory in a .config infracost credentials.yaml. So I'm going to go ahead and clear that. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a test run real quick. Now I've got a lot of personal Terraform code on here, just from personal projects I've been working on. So I'm going to go into one of these. So I'm in a directory with a bunch of Terraform files that are going to deploy resources. And then I'm going to go ahead and do an infracost breakdown dash dash path. And the path is going to be wherever your Terraform uh, state file or plan file is stored. So if I, if I look here, I've got uh, my Terraform code uh, along with the Terraform state. And I'm going to do a plan. It's going to run Terraform plan if it can't find a cached plan. And then if it if this directory has not been initialized yet, it's also going to go ahead and run an init for me and then run the plan. So now we're going to run a Terraform show. And we're getting our calculating monthly cost estimate, right? So we can see that I'm getting an EIP for one month, 730 hours, and it's going to cost me $3.65. We can see I'm getting an AWS instance.ec2 instance called Vault Server for 730 hours, one month, $33. And the eight gigabits of SSD storage is gonna cost me 80 cents. And we can also see my KMS key for one month is gonna cost me $1, plus any of the monthly costs that depend on the three cents per 10K request, 10 cents per 10K request, and so on. So overall, it shows me my output total. If I were to leave all these resources running for one month, would be $39.32, assuming nothing changes. Now, another really cool feature of InfraCost is that they have CI-CD integrations. So what you can do is you can attach this to your CI-CD pipeline. Uh, maybe you want to automatically add a pull request comment that shows the difference between monthly costs between a current plan state, uh, because you can actually use InfraCost to compare a current state versus an updated state that you might want to apply. And then you can see the difference in cost there. You can see it works with GitHub app Actions, GitLab CI, Circle CI, Bitbucket, Atlantis, Jenkins, Azure DevOps. It works with all the CI CD tools you would expect it to work. And you can even do Slack uh, webhooks if you want to. 